starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Hi, Mr. Foley. Oh, hello, Timmy. Lassie. Say, you two must have gotten up with the sun. I thought Saturday was your morning for sleeping late. We wanted to come out in the woods and see if that tornado did as much damage as the man on the radio said it did. I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of casualties to the wildlife. I guess us farmers are pretty lucky. You know that gale whipped up right by us and didn't even break one stalk of my dad's prized corn? Well, tornadoes are like that, Timmy. They'll cut a path like a giant bulldozer. Yet they leave the surrounding area untouched. Lassie, come back! You better go after her, Timmy. I haven't checked that area yet. I'd rather she wouldn't be wandering around in there. Lassie! Lassie, what are you doing in there? Get him out of there. Take it easy, fella. We better get him to Mr. Foley. Come on. Just have to take him home and fix his leg up. Come on, girl. <laughs> Swelling's gone down. Okay, fella. Let's see if you can walk. Come on, fella. Come on. Hey, over here. Lassie, help me. Try something else. Here, fella. Come on. That's it. You're doing fine. Here, fella. Come on. Timmy, what in the world? He was hurt in the tornado. Timmy, look. That's your father's hybrid corn. I know, Mom. You gotta get him out of there this instant. Go bring him back, Lassie. Here. 
Your father would never forgive us if anything happened to that corn. Don't worry, Mom. We'll take him back to the woods right now. Come on, girl. We're back, Mom. Oh, so I see. We put the raccoon right back where we found him, and he scooted off into the bushes. Good. Mom, I've been thinking. Well, maybe we shouldn't tell Dad. Okay. Would you go in and make us a couple of sandwiches? I'll be through here in a minute. You bet. Oh, no! Timmy. Lassie, go chase them out of there. <laughs> You said you left him in the woods. I did. But he must have followed us back. <laughs> With a friend. I hope that's the last we see of them. So do I. Well, that's an interesting little set of figures, Paul. No, I think so. Aren't you kind of counting your chickens before they hatch? What do you mean? Well, don't you think that's expecting too much from one small experimental crop of corn? No, no, not after what they told me at the agricultural college today. They said that that hybrid corn out there is the juiciest and best grade of sweet table corn ever produced in this state. And just the seeds from that little patch alone will bring in a nice profit. bothering Lassie. I don't know, Dad. Maybe I'd, I'd better go find out. Lassie, get them out of there, quick! Tornado must have driven them down this way. Well, well gosh, Dad. Well, they didn't do much. They just, they just got one little stock. Yeah. Trouble is, when raccoons find out where they can freeload, they're liable to come back. You know, I'd hate to have to shoot them, but these animals get to be pests. I'm afraid there's no other way. his whole family this time. Lassie, now chase him quietly. If 
Dad wakes up, he'll shoot them. Go on, girl. Lassie, quiet! I guess I did it, Lassie. We better make sure. They'll just keep coming back. I guess we'll have to stay out here and keep them away. We'll just have to stand guard. Okay, Lassie, you go that way and I'll go this way. Let me guess. You decided that sleeping in the cornfield would be more comfortable than sleeping in your own bed. Please, Dad. Let me explain. Well, we were trying to keep the raccoons away. Well, you see, it's our fault that they came here in the first place. I might have known it. Well, gosh, Dad. We found this injured raccoon out in the woods, and we brought him home to fix his paw. When we were finished, we, when we took him right back and let him go where we found him. But by then, he, he knew about the corn. Timmy, you know it's against the law to remove a wild animal from its natural habitat? I didn't know that, Dad. Well, sure. And you can see why. Either the wild animal gets used to a domestic life and it can't fend for itself anymore, or else it does a lot of damage in a tame environment. I understand now, Dad. Well, I'm afraid that now is too late, Timmy. If those raccoons come back here, I've got no choice but to destroy them. Oh, no, Dad, please. Look, Timmy, I can't lose all this corn. You know we're depending on the proceeds from it, and I just can't lie awake at night guarding it. Well, why don't you give Lassie me a chance to get rid of them? <laughs> we brought them here in the first place. So it's really our problem. But it's my corn, Timmy. I know, Dad, and I'm sorry. But please, just give us a chance to catch them. And what will you do then, Timmy? Turn them loose out in the woods again? No, sir, they'll be coming right back again. Those animals have got to be disposed of. Oh, no, Dad, wait a second, I've got an idea. Well, maybe after I catch them, I could take them to Mr. Foley, the game warden. And he could take them someplace far enough away where they wouldn't find their way back and bother us. Maybe. Then all I have to do is capture them and give them to him, and our troubles are over. Please, Dad, can I try? All right, Timmy. But you better work fast. Otherwise, we've got to do it my way. Thanks, Dad. I'll get started right away. Okay. We've got a big job, Lassie, and I'll need your help. I read someplace that... The raccoons like shiny things. They're really curious animals. These Christmas ornaments ought to do the trick. Come on, Lassie.
Don't look at me that way, Lassie. I know this is Dad's precious corn. But I don't think he'll mind us using a little bit. If it'll save the rest by catching those raccoons. Committed a pretty serious offense to me, taking wild animals out of the forest. I didn't know that when I did it, but I sure know it now. And there's some pretty stiff penalties. I suppose so. And what about the animals themselves? Got to consider them. Well, we thought maybe you could help us. Well, we'll try. You know, it just so happens that we're restocking a trout stream in another area. One of my men is driving up there today. I could send those five raccoons along with him. I doubt if they'd make it back to your dad's cornfield from way up there. Well, gee, thanks, Mr. Foley. That sure takes a load off my mind. What do you think, Paul? Think he's learned his lesson? I'd say he has. I'd say he has, too. Thanks again, Mr. Foley. Well, now, hold on, Timmy. I can't let you go scot-free. You did break the law. You mean... I'll have to go to jail? Well, I'll make a bargain with you. It just so happens we haven't finished cleaning the debris from that camp area up by the lake. Now, suppose you give us a hand with that after school. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't take more than a week? Oh, it's a deal! Thanks a lot, Mr. Foley. Well, that is if my dad will let me off my chores. I'll think about it. <laughs> It. They're going to work. Good girl, Lassie. Keep it up. <laughs> 